Hello again, it is Ben with, whoop, get that off the screen, uh, with another Mysterious Space update. So contrary to what I said at the end of my previous video, I appear to have just been like going crazy working on Mysterious Space, so I don't even know where to begin, but let's look at the change log. Um, this is not the change log, this is generating drops. Accessories, what are these? Let's talk about that. Uh, but first, let's find the change log it's somewhere on the left here. Change log. All right. Um, so the main thing that I've been working on for 4.6, which is still in development, are these new accessories. And I will tell you about those by showing them to you. Um, I've also restored, importantly, Xbox-like controller support. Um, so Mono Game, the library I'm using, they've updated things, they've changed their mind about how they do things, there's been problems integrating with Visual Studio uh, Express and all these other things, and so I've had trouble figuring out how they do anything. Anyway, um, so for a while the game supported Xbox controllers, uh, and then I updated a version and then it didn't anymore, and I didn't even know why, and it's because it had been using OpenGL instead of DirectX, it defaulted there. Um, and I didn't realize that that meant, also, that it didn't have the Xbox controller support. So I've now switched over to DirectX, uh, which gives us the Xbox controller support. It also required me to, like, repackage all the graphics and sound effects and do all this stuff. So that ended up being kind of a, a, a crazy thing. But it's worth it. Um, partly because now the... Uh, it's, it's more in line with how XNA did things before Microsoft dropped. You know, we're talking about nonsense. You guys don't care about those coding details. The point is Xbox controller. Woo! Xbox controller. So you can press all the wonderful buttons that it said. I have also, um, and I don't think that's mentioned here. Maybe it's mentioned here. Uh, gamepad buttons now appear rather than just saying, or X, which might confuse you into thinking you could press the X key on your keyboard. No, it's the button, and so they look like the button, and, and I'll show you that. Um, and I made some little UI improvements, uh, you know, saying slowed while you're slowed, or verlangsamt, I don't know German, when you're slowed, if you choose the German option. The translations have a long way to go. Um, and P.S., if anyone wants to help with German or French or any other language translations, that would be super cool. Um, and also kind of a pain, like, that's a lot to ask, I understand, because that's, that's a lot of work. Uh, and I have not even begun... I'm a bad person. Do you want to see? Okay, so like, where's where's an accessory we can find, or, or or a weapon, or anything? Like the way it puts together the descriptions for the, these general weapons. Um, you know, the descriptions are just in text like this, and I'm gonna have to move those out into um, one of my language files because the the language files I have in general. I'll open one up. Let's find German. They define all these all these constants, um, and also I believe sometimes methods, so I can pass, yeah, like here, I can pass in a point and value and it will say x points, but you know in some languages it might say points x. I don't know which ones, but, I, but grammar can be different, and so that's something else I'm going to have to really take into account. I'm basically going to need a bi-directional gun generator where you pass in the fire, you know, the fire delay and the speed and oh, what bullet descriptions? That's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing and also has numbers. And so like I I have been I mean, it can be done clearly. I just haven't even sorted out how it's going to look in the code. And that's bad because every time I add more weapons and shields and armor and now accessories, we just the problem is compounded. Anyway, let's not talk about these boring things. <laughs> um uh, and yeah, planet textures look cool, some alien artifact changes, let's play the game. Let's play the game, if I can only find it. Here we go. Uh, Konami Code, did you know that was a thing? Konami Code. Alright, new game. Um, Konami Code! So, here, it... If you do the Konami Code, you will now be given a bunch of, um, ten random alien artifacts, and hopefully all of them have been represented. No, one of them is not. That's okay. So, I started doing them with passive effects like this one, Weapon Booster. My weapon recharge rate is improved, but my shield recharge rate is... deproved? Uh, I don't know. Um, but then I was like, no, Ben, make this more interesting. Let's have crazy effects that you activate, because that's an interesting decision, right? You're playing the game and now it's like, do I activate my crazy ability? Do I want to activate my phase shield and become invincible? Um, so I've tried to make more of them be um, active, uh, activated abilities. 
uh, using the X key or control, which I think will work on keyboard. I need to play with keyboard again and, and see how that feels. I've been, now that the Xbox controller is working again, I've been using that. I also, though, I thought this was a fun choice. So this gives you a temporary shield, uh, and the number, like the number 28 probably looks weird. It's based on the level, so it starts at a nice round number. The first one you find would be like a 10 point shield, but when you do the Konami code, it gives you uh, items that are as good as you would find in the in the last sector before headed back, so like halfway through the game. Anyway, so 28, 28 point shield whenever you use an alien artifact, and I really like this because, you know, part of what, one thing you could say, uh, maybe this is a, a stupid reason to implement this, so, but so for the potion identifying game, and, and let's go back to roguelikes, you can pick up you know, you're like, ooh, a red potion, what does it do this game? Am I going to drink it and it's going to heal me? Or am I going to drink it and, it's be and I'm going to be poisoned? And, like, part of the... The thing there is the risk, but any reasonable person, like, once you've seen that those can be bad, all that means you do is when you're safe, in this case, you know, in, in a rogue, in a more traditional roguelike, it would be you're in an empty, you know, you've cleared out all the monsters in the area, and, and you feel like this is a good time to try crazy potion. Oh god, it blinded me for 30 turns. Well, that's okay, because I'm safe right now. Um, and in Mysterious Space, it means coming out to the sector map, and you just use the little alien artifacts, and let's use one. Ah, gotta scroll through this menu. Oh no, they flicker on and off for 10 seconds. Good thing I'm not in the middle of a level. Um, so... It's not very interesting, right? And that's kind of a stupid game, and I've always hated that in roguelikes. That, like, you could say, like, it is kind of interesting that you don't know what's going to happen, but wouldn't it be cooler if the thing that was going to happen was always good? Like, I feel like that would be would be more better. Um, and so maybe I should just do that. I, I feel like I'm sticking with the roguelike tradition too much in, in having the, uh, the potions have, have a mixed, you know, could be good, could be bad kind of thing going on, but this is, I like the alien integrator because it makes the bad ones potentially good, where it, I, I imagine, and, and this probably isn't a complex enough example, but let, let's just say, for example, you know, you, you had people who were like, oh, what's the point of these of these bad alien artifacts? I just throw them away as soon as I get them. I should just throw them away for me. I don't even want them. I don't even want to pick them up. But then the, the pro player, supposing there was such a thing for this game, would say, ah, but Alien Integrator is really good. Let's pretend it is. I don't know how the balance works yet. And I keep all those items because I'm going to get an in Alien Integrator someday, and I will happily take, like, the messed up sensor effect for 10 seconds if it means I get a temporary shield and I just, like, dash out of the horrible situation and far away. Um, th that would be really cool. If, if, if it works out that way. Does it work out that way? I don't know. Have I succeeded in making that interesting you know, play there, where, where what you thought was useless is actually useful. Those kind of interactions, those those bizarre interactions where an item that you thought was useless gains a new use, um, like with po like with poison potions and roguelikes, right, you throw them at enemies, and then they're poisoned, or you dip your blade in it, or, or whatever. You, they all have these, these ways that you can use them uh, when you know enough about the system. That's really cool. That's great. Uh, every game should have that to some degree, I, I think. Um, I mean, not every game, but, but many games. It's an interesting thing. It's a little bit of strategizing, strategery, yeah, strategery, that's the non-word I want. So, I think that's fun, um, and and then, uh, you know, so, so even though that's not an activated ability, I like that, because it does give you uh, maybe an interesting choice. I'm hoping, you know, I don't know if I'll have to rework it to be, to do something different, um, to, to make it a more compelling choice, or, or whatever, or again, maybe I'll say, nah, screw the bad alien artifacts, they're all good, and you know, maybe then Alien Integrator is just better, or, or maybe we get rid of it and make something else, I don't know. Um, so anyway, got all these these new uh, um, accessories, I'm calling them. An accessory is kind of a lame name, I don't like it, uh, but it'll work for now. Let's go ahead and try one. I wish I had, you know what, here, let's just, let's just cheat. I'm just going to close it down and uh, start it up again, and hope that I get the other one, which is a, uh, where are you, here we go. It is an accessory that you use, and it damages your your hull directly. Which, uh, well, it I, I was gonna say it will kill you, but it won't because it doesn't let you use it if it would kill you. Um, don't kill me. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's see if we can find it. Oh, there's another use item that wasn't there either. Uh, increases your movement speed. But then you can't shoot for two seconds. I think that penalty is a little too cruel. I might reduce that cooldown period. But here we go. Last resort. Uh, you press Control or X to destroy every enemy on the screen. 
but you deal damage directly to yourself. It can only be activated once every however many seconds. The self-inflicted damage and the cooldown are both things that can improve secretly. I kind of feel like you don't care so much about the cooldown. You probably care about the self-damage. Um, this item, I feel like, is hard to balance. Um, maybe it's easy. I don't know. So let's let's play a level. I really wish there was an ice world. Maybe the next one is ice. Uh, and see how this guy works out. So you can see it tells me that my X is ready. I should, I really should probably uh, have it detect what you're using and, and display the UI that's appropriate. Um, so, you know, if you touch your gamepad, it says, oh, you must be using gamepad, and switches to gamepad instructions. Um, all right, so since we're in debugging mode with the Konami code, we can also see enemies out of depth, so ordinarily you would not see these guys. We can also see the slowed effect, which as you can see is uh, overlapping with, with the UI. I have it being pushed down, uh, but it's not pushed down enough. Anyway, ah, oh, slow. Destroy! And there, we've destroyed everything. And you can see I've taken a little hole damage, and then it shows you a cooldown for, okay, you've got to wait this many seconds. I realized as I was implementing this, is like, wait, it's going to be infuriating if you cannot see when your item is, you know, your, your special ability or whatever is available to use. I also added this, so you can see what you've picked up um, as a, a little UI improvement. So what, what prompted me to make some of these changes, like this little UI thing, uh, I went, I did a, what I called a let's play of Mysterious Space with my um, professional game designer friend Steve, and I always feel like I should describe him that way. I don't know. I hope he appreciates it. Um, I appreciate him, and I appreciate his help. So mostly, really, I, you know, I said I called it a let's play, but what it really was was uh, me saying, hey, Steven, can you give me feedback with your awesome game designer brain? Uh, and he did, and I took a bunch of notes, and I had forgotten that we had done that, uh, and so I found it again and was like, oh, did I do that? I remember this. Did I do all the things, you know, from, from 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 the feedback I got from him? And I had done many of them, so I was pleased, but I did not do all of them. And one of them was having it tell you what you picked up. Purple alien artifact. I know I can use that. That's good, you know, good information. Whereas if you pick up an unidentified ship part, you probably don't care to look at that right now, but it's good to keep in mind. Um, what does it do? Destroys all on-screen enemies. Well, that's good. Something else I should say about this um, ability where you can blow yourself up a little bit to blow up everyone on the screen. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, what was I saying about it? I was saying something. Oh yeah, if you have invulnerability from some source, uh, an alien artifact I think is the only other source right now in the game, that just gave me an idea. Anyway, you won't take the whole damage, so there's a little something you could do. You could use an alien artifact to, uh, anyway, I'm not going to stick around, we're going to go check out the ice world. Um, you could use an invulnerability thing and then blow up everything on the screen. Not that you really need to in that case, but, I mean, you know, that's a possible interaction as well. Um, right, and it's telling you, look at all these unidentified equipments. You should you should check them out. Oh my god, I accidentally equipped something. What's it do? Angled bullets. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, ice worlds. Um, and I think I showed off before the ice worlds have snow. What I was hoping to show off, but it's not going to do it for me. Um, is I, I made a new ice texture that is used on like half the planet. So there's now two different, uh, there you go, unidentified chip part. What could it be? Um, <laughs> ooh, that angle is really extreme. Um, anyway, oh my god, bouncing bolts. Uh, so there's another uh, texture I made for the ice worlds. Oh, those guys hurt so much. Um, but alas, we didn't get an ice world with it. But at least we got snow. That's pretty. Um, so I don't know that I have a whole lot else to show off. I'm still... What, 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 what am I going to do? Yeah, I tried to estimate my time before, and I assumed I would have no time to do anything. And instead, what's happened is that instead of doing any of the other things I thought I'd be doing, I've been like, no, Mysterious Space. Mysterious Space is awesome. So I don't know how to tell you guys uh, you know, what's in store for the near future, because I don't know how much I'm going to work on the game in the near future. But hopefully it will be a lot. Um... But I still need more enemies. I added uh, those little guys that we saw before who crawl around the edges and shoot crazy bouncy bullets at you. Um, but we need more. We need more. And another thing I'm still thinking of doing, I, I guess this is going to come sooner rather than later, is making the uh, galaxy map when, when you're out uh, more interesting. And I think along with that, so like it, for example, right now I'm not allowed to leave the system because I don't have the fuel. It just says, you know, you're stuck at the top of space, however that works. I think what I would like to do instead is say, 
to jump from system to system it takes three fuel if for some reason you wanted to abandon a planet like you go into a planet and, and you're like oh i can't actually deal with this lava uh, no, I'm gone. I'm going to go to the other planet in this system and find the rest of my fuel there. I think letting you do that would be cool. So, and, and again, what I'm thinking of doing is is having the system map be more be a, a web, a network, uh, rather than the straight line that we kind of have now. And in each system, you might have a couple options. Uh, but then you can choose the route you want to go, and maybe you want to take the fast route, but that means you're going to get let, you know fewer goodies and all that. So, I would like to do that. I'd also like more enemies and. And I'm also working on, let's see if we can find it. I can't remember if I showed this off last video, so I apologize in advance if I already did. But little uh, bases, I really think I showed it off. Whatever, we're almost around the planet. We'll see it somewhere. It's not hidden down, is it? And actually, for ice worlds, there's a chance they just can't find a good flat surface to put a base on. Well, no, see, that's one. Uh, even so, I don't see a... Uh, a little base. So anyway, uh, some of the planets have bases on them, and um, I would like to make those bases more interesting. I would specifically put goodies in them, uh, probably like the log entries that you can occasionally find, which debugging mode doesn't start you with. Um, but, uh, you know, you, to give you some of the lore or whatever uh, for the world, which I don't think anyone actually super cares about. <gasps> I messed up that guy! That guy that wants to crawl along the walls, he can't now. So my weapon appear <laughs> I didn't know this happened. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe that's just an awesome use for these guns. This gun uh, knocks the target back, and it knocked him off of the wall, and now he can't figure out how to move anymore. That's hilarious. I didn't know that would happen. Destroy them all. Um, so good. So that's all I have to show off. A bunch of new accessories to hopefully let you customize and do interesting tactical-ish things uh, in various ways. I hope the alien integrator is cool. I'm really going to have to play with it more. But of course, I'm just going to release it without trying it a bunch and hopefully, again, get feedback, I hope. Um, and for the near future, more enemies uh, and that uh, network, web, whatever you want to call it, of systems rather than a straight line. Again, what is the near future? I don't know. Will I get distracted with something else? I don't know. I never know. So, anyway, thanks as always for watching. I'll try to keep this quicker than usual. And, uh, yeah, let me know how you like the game and all these cool things. And I will post another video as soon as I can. I can't find the stop button. There it is.